Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the pivot table feature of Excel to access some of the most powerful data analysis that Excel can provide. Pivot tables allow you to organize massive amounts of data in more coherent and meaningful ways to extract from the data exactly what you want to know. Probably the most helpful feature of pivot tables is the ability that they have to be reorganized quickly and easily to change what information they are displaying and calculating. When you create a pivot table, you are comparing information in your worksheet and then calculating intersecting values of your choosing. In addition to the pivot tables, you can also create pivot charts, which use the data from pivot tables, but display it in a graphic format. The best way to learn how to use pivot tables is to actually create one with which you can experiment and practice. Excel makes it easy to create a pivot table from your data. To create a pivot table, first select the worksheet that contains the data from which you want to create a pivot table. Next, click the Insert tab within the ribbon. Then click the Pivot Table drop-down button that appears in the Tables button group and choose either the pivot table or pivot chart command as desired. Either way, next you will see the create pivot table dialog box appear. Here you must select the source of data for the pivot table. Your choice is to select a table or range which pulls the data from your Excel worksheet or use an external data source which allows you to use data from a query or an open database connection. Now below that area, you have to select whether you want to place the pivot table or pivot chart into a new worksheet or into an existing worksheet. If you click the existing worksheet choice, then you'll have to click into the location text box and then click into the worksheet to select the cell that will become the upper left corner of your pivot table or pivot chart. Now when you are finished, click the OK button to create your new pivot table or pivot chart. Next you'll see the pivot table field list task pane appear at the side of your workbook window. If you elected to create a pivot chart, then you will see the pivot chart filter pane appear instead. In the pivot table field list pane, you'll see the information from your selected data source. Now you have to click the checkbox next to each field within the Choose Fields to Add to Report section that you want to add to the pivot table. As you check each field, Excel will add it into one of the four quadrants shown in the Drag Fields Between the Areas Below section at the bottom of the task pane. For pivot tables, these quadrants are Report Filter, Column Labels, row labels, and values. For pivot charts, these quadrants are report filter, legend fields or series, axis fields or categories, or values. At that point, you can click and drag the fields shown from one quadrant to another based on what function or layout you want the pivot table to display. Note that fields that are placed into the values section are calculated using the sum function by default. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.